Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to use inference rules to prove a conclusion given a set of knowledge bases in artificial intelligence with the help of simple solved example. In this case, we have been given five knowledge bases. Given these knowledge bases, we need to use the inference rules or forward chaining to derive the sentence A here. Now, these are the five knowledge bases given to us. Given this thing, we need to prove A here. Now, if you want to prove A here, we can get this particular A from the second knowledge base. To get A out of it, we need to have D and F here. Uh, to get D and F, F is available here, but D is not available in any of the knowledge bases uh, separately. So, D is present in knowledge base uh, 3, but it is with respect to, to negation of E or D here. So, to remove this negation of E, we need to get E here. That we can get from the knowledge base 1 in this case. So, that is how we need to understand how can we prove this particular uh, given statement. So, what we do here is we will start with the knowledge base uh, 4 here. Uh, in this knowledge base 4, I will uh, eliminate the and I will get the C here. That's the first possibility. Again, uh, from the knowledge base 4 only, I will uh, eliminate and I will get B here. So, these are the two things we will get. So, we got uh, B. Uh, what is required for us uh, uh, is uh, we should get A or B and C so that we will get this E here. So, what is available with us? B is available. So, what I will do is I will introduce or here that is A or B in this case. So, why can I write this particular thing is B is already true. If B is true, B or anything is true here. So, that is the reason I have introduced or with respect to A in this case. Now, we have A or B and C is also available with the help of 1 and 3. I will introduce and here I will get A or B and C in this case. So, now we got A or B and C. This is present over here also. So, A or B and C, A or B and C implies E. If you apply the modus ponens rule between these two things, we will get what? E here. So, that is what I have written in this case. Now, from step number 5 that is E and knowledge base uh, 3 here. So, here we have negation of E or D. Here we have E here. So, this E and E will get cancelled. What is left over here? B is left that is known as unit resolution rule in uh, inference rules here. Now, what we got? We got D and F is already available in uh, knowledge base 5 here. I will get this one uh, after an introduction of and between step number 6 and knowledge base 5 here. Now, we have here D and F. Here we have D and F implies A. So, what is the meaning of this one? Again, modus ponens rule will give you what? A here. So, that is what the final thing what we got and that is what we need to prove here also. In this case, this is not the only set of inference rules so we can apply to get the conclusion here. We can apply another set of rules also, but we need to apply the rules correctly so that you will be able to get the uh, final conclusion in this case. I hope you understood how can we apply the inference rules on the given knowledge base to prove the given conclusion in this case. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.